Haunted Castle. Hey you guys, Vonster here with a special vampire themed, vampire themed indie box on opening. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we're doing it right here. Tis the season, man. October's in bloom. The skies are gray. Uh, I've been on a walk on a winter's day. Uh, I'm singing song lyrics now, so I'm going to move on to talking about the vampires. <laughs> so this is something I like to do. Uh, I make indie comics, but I also love to support indie comics. And I have a lot of friends within Comicsgate who make indie comics. And I happen to have not one, not two, but three vampire books. Books about the undead to unbox for you guys here that I, I supported. So let's check them out. Let's get into this. Oh my God. Okay, I've been waiting for this for a while. I've been wanting to do this. I've had it for a little bit, but I want to wait and do this video because this is freaking epic. This is, oh my God. Mandy, you really outdid yourself. And Peter Gilmore. This is Jack the Ripper. Vampire Hunter. Yes! Yes, yes, I love this card. I love all these. Look at these bonuses that are just popping out into my hands. As I, Look at this. I didn't know I was getting all this. I didn't know. And then we get to the book and it has this the cover is when I knew I had to I had to get this. I think this was a special thing. And I hadn't gotten it yet. I thought I had. And I was like, what, what, what? I'm getting it now. And then this cover was here. And I was like, yep, this is it. This is a great cover. This book, I cannot wait to get into this, guys. Mandy Summers and uh, Peter Gilmore have put out a gym. Mandy is an amazing comic book creator. Uh, doing really great with Gym Shock right now, actually, on Indiegogo. You guys should check her out. Um, everything she does is great, and it's only going to get better because guess what, guys? She's launching Jack the Ripper Vampire Hunter book too soon. And that's probably going to make... It's going to do so well. Because I'm just hearing nothing but good things about this. I'm going to read this soon. These baubles, the extras. I mean, are you kidding me? i got to just decorate my house with this stuff now. This is... It's, it's, it's amazing. Well done, Mandy. <laughs> Killing it, girl. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, let's, let's open up the next vampire horror, man. This is great. I can't believe it. I love horror comics. That's what I like to make anyway. Or, or just the type of stories I love. And now we have one by a good friend of mine, Narwhal. Uh, an artist that's been making comics along with me in the indie scene. Kind of like the internet comics gate indie scene for a long time. And I've been so excited for this for so long, man. This is his genius take version of Nosferatu. Oh, wow, it's really taped down, Nar Narwhal. Oh, oh, I'm having a fight with it. I'm having a fight, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get out my scissors for this. I'm tearing up the back here. There we go. Oh, because my camera, right? Okay, I had to tear this open because I must know what's inside of this beautiful packaging. I'm leaving some of your awesome cards behind, I know. Cards and stickers, but look at this. That's a Luke Weber, that's fresher Luke, she's. Look at that fresher Luke Nosferatu. Oh, I love this one. This was the cover uh, I wanted. Look at it, it's beautiful. Uh, Narwhal, you have once again made another beautiful piece of art that I cannot wait to enjoy. Look at that. All these extras, Narwhal, are you kidding me? These are beautiful. Uh, guys, this is where indie comics is at now. It's they're fun, they're unique, they're they're not tied down with political correctness. They're unleashed. Uh, if anything, these people who've tried to silence expression in comics and silence political people with political opinions that are different we can't have that old lady crap. Like they can't win. You can't silence us. There's an internet now. You know what I mean? We can go to the people straight to the fans and say, hey, we've got something to offer you that's different and it's not gonna tell you you're a bad person for your skin color today. It's not gonna tell you how to recycle your garbage to save the planet from some creepy global warming stuff. It's not gonna tell you how to do all, it's not gonna tell you that you're, you know, more, you know, uh, the past happened and it's your fault. It's not gonna tell you that there's a problem with your masculinity. It's not gonna tell you that you're bad for liking what you like. Oh my goodness, this book, guys, uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to get into this. And then we've got 
Oh man, we've got something special that I've been... <sighs> I didn't, it felt like it could not come soon enough, but it finally came. Dracula by Clint Stoker, by one of Dracula's own uh, relatives. Like 87th cousin removed or some fun thing like that. This is hardback, guys. This is a hardback book with uh, by Clint Stoker and Donald DeLay. And the cards look great. This cover by Kelsey Shannon is one of my favorite things I've seen in indie comics ever. And it's right here on this Dracula book. I cannot wait to get into Clint's version. Clint says he has a very uh, unique version of Dracula coming out for you guys. The extras in it look fabulous. Here's the back. Like sweet comics, you guys should check them out on YouTube and on uh, Indiegogo. They do, he uh, does Downcast, which is just, uh, that series is a success story. So it's good stuff. You're getting good solid writing here. Uh, he really cares about the craft. He puts his all into his stuff and he just did it. He did a Dracula story. I love that, man. Hell, hail the vampires this month. Oh, hail the vamps, man. I think vampires will make a little comeback after werewolves are finally getting a little love. So, uh, uh, I love them all. I'm more of a werewolf guy in general, but I mean, come on, man. These three books, are you kidding me? Let's look at them again real quick. Let's get them all together. Let's get the gang all here. Okay, we've got Dracula with the cover that, I mean, should be winning all the awards. We've got Nosferatu, um, I mean, gorgeous work of art and a, a, a timeless tale. And then we've got a take on Jack the Ripper, unlike anything you're ever gonna see in your life. He's a vampire hunter. It turns out he was removing the heads and organs of creepy vampire women. And we blamed him for horrible murders when really he was probably just taking out the trash. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. No, I can't wait to read all of these. Uh, talk about good Halloween reading too. You guys should look all this up, check them out. Uh, great artists, great people. Check out Comicsgate. We're killing it at the indie scene here. Now, I'm Vaughn. I do Terror in the Trenches. I do Monster MD. I do uh, Psycho Killers. I do Rerun Man. I do all kinds of badass comics. And you should check me out. I'm on Substack. Uh, it's Rise Again Comics. Or no, it's actually Vaughn Kingdom on Substack. Duh. And uh, look me up. Uh, look up our campaign, uh, Terror in the Trenches. I think you're going to dig what you see. Then you're like, all right, thanks guys. So like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Show the spread the words, support good indie books, support Comics Gate. Who loves you? Monster loves you. There he goes. Sometimes it's on for five minutes, sometimes it's on for five hours. That's my man. Talk hard! <laughs>